and welcome to That's English. Hoy vamos a repasar algunos puntos gramaticales que hemos visto durante las últimas semanas. Sigue los extractos de nuestros episodios. Comprueba si recuerdas todo, si has olvidado algo o si no estás muy seguro. Concéntrate en esas áreas y prepárate para el examen. Primero vamos a fijarnos en la forma de describir cosas que están sucediendo en el presente. Aquí Julia se encuentra con un viejo amigo. What's the time, please? It's 11 o'clock. Thank you. Is there a train at two o'clock on Wednesdays to Leeds from this station? No, there's a train at half past one and there's one at half past three. How often do they leave? They leave every two hours on weekdays. It's quarter past eleven. Is there a train at quarter past four? Yes, there is. What are you doing these days, Julia? I'm working at Multinational Promotions. Where? Multinational Promotions. It's a company in London. And you? Are you busy? Uh, no, I'm not. What are you doing? I'm unemployed. Oh, I'm sorry. How are the children? They're fine. And Anne? What's she doing? She's teaching. At a primary school? Yes. And your brother Peter? He's working for his exams. Why don't we go to Kettle's Yard Art Gallery? The Fitzwilliam Museum. This is a very good museum. Why don't we go there? Julia. The Art Cinema. The Citizen Kane showing there. Why don't we go this evening? Julia, why don't we have some lunch? We can have a sandwich in the park. I'd like steak and chips. Why don't we get a takeaway? That's a good idea. your family get up, Mrs. Burns? My husband usually gets up at half past nine. Half past nine? I get up at 7.30. What time do you get up in the morning? I always get up at seven o'clock on weekdays. And what time do the children usually get up? The children get up at eight. At weekends, they get up at ten. <laughs> I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? They get up at 8 o'clock on weekdays and at 10 o'clock on Saturdays and Sundays. Paul never makes his bed. The children clean and tidy their rooms on Saturdays. Sometimes. What time do your children get home? Paul gets home at half past three and Joanna gets home at five o'clock. And what time do you have supper? The children have tea at five. Good. My husband and I have dinner at eight. We eat in the kitchen. Now, the children must make their beds in the morning. Yes, I understand. And clean and tidy their rooms on Saturdays. Yes. They must do their homework before six o'clock. And on weekdays, they mustn't watch television after seven. At the weekend, they can watch television until nine o'clock. Sorry? At weekends, no television after nine o'clock. For the children. Isabel, you 
you must hoover the floor. Isabel, please hoover the floor. Isabel, you must do the dusting. Please do the dusting. Isabel, you must wash the clothes. Please wash the clothes. Isabel, don't do that, please. You must be careful with the washing machine. Excuse me. Can I help you? Do you have a leaflet about the courses? We do courses in art, design, business studies, science, theatre, English literature. I'm interested in the course in business studies. I'd like some information about part-time courses in European business studies. But for this course, the entry requirement is a university degree. Mm. Have you got a degree? No. I have a Spanish qualification in English and a diploma in business studies. This is a very difficult course. And there is a shorter course in European business studies. It's easier. Here is the programme of study. How much does the course cost? It's £400. That's expensive, isn't it? Well, it's a 20-week course. It's more expensive than uh, this one. This one is shorter than that one, and it's part-time. How much does the part-time course cost? £60. When is it? It's from 9 to 12 on Tuesdays. Who's the tutor? Nigel Parsons is the tutor. And how many students are there in each class? There are 15 students. Well, that's not too many, is it? How long does the course last? It lasts 10 weeks. Well, that's fine. I'd like to enrol on that course, please. Which course are you interested in? I'm going to do the business studies course. Mrs. Burns, I'd like to do this business course. It's more intensive. I'm going to do the intensive course. What are you going to do when you finish the course? I'm going to look for a job. Where? Well, I'd like to work in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Isabel. Hi, I'm James. Where are you from, Isabel? I'm from Spain. Where do you come from? I come from Scotland. What are you studying? I'm doing a business studies course. What course are you doing? Business studies with computer programming. Hello. Uh, my name is Isabel Pelathon. I'm ringing about the job advertisement in the Oxford Evening Standard. Personal assistant. Pelathon. P-A-L-A-Z-O-N. Yes. Yes, I'm free on Tuesday morning. Yes, at about 12 o'clock. Thank you. Goodbye. I'd like some information about you, please. First, what are your qualifications? I have a diploma in business studies. From an English college? No, from a college in Madrid. What languages do you speak? I can speak French and Spanish. Excellent. What about German? Yes, I can speak a little German. Good. You can type, can't you? Yes, I can type. Can you use a computer? Yes, I can. Can you drive? Yes. Mrs. Jordan, I have my CV here. Ah, thank you. Very good. You're an au pair? Yes, but I hate making the beds and washing up all day. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you enjoy working with people? Oh, yes. Can you go to the shops this morning, James? Yes, OK. What do we need? We need meat, some chicken and some ham. I don't like ham. I like ham. Please buy some ham. And some butter and cheese. Oh. And milk. Have we got any orange juice? Yes, we've got enough orange juice. And some eggs. Six eggs? No, 12. And we need some bread. And we haven't got any biscuits. Is there any tea? No, we need tea and coffee. And can you get some? Carrots, <laughs> potatoes, and a cauliflower. We have no rice. Can you get some brown rice? Okay. And we need some sugar. We don't need any sugar. Sugar is bad for you. Dad, I like sugar in tea. You have too much sugar. I want sugar in my tea. Now, is there anything else we need? Some mineral water. Can I have three pounds of those apples? And six oranges. One, two, three, four, five, six. And two pounds of bananas. No, not those bananas. These bananas here. The strawberries are very good. How much are they? 80 pence a pound. <laughs> no, thank you. That's too expensive. I need two pounds of tomatoes, please. Have you got any red peppers? No. We've got green peppers. They're very fresh. Thank you. I'd like these two, please. That's ten ounces. Ten? OK. Eight ounces. Oh, and three pounds of potatoes. Ugh. Potatoes. Anything else? No, that's all. Thank you. How was your flight? Oh, it was fine, thanks. There were no problems. The cabin staff were really nice. Ooh. Ooh. It's cold in England. It was very hot in Miami. I was in America in May. It was very hot. Oh, really? Where were you in America? I was in New England. Oh, it's beautiful there, isn't it? Yes. Y esto es todo por hoy. Mucha suerte con el examen. We all look forward to seeing you once again for Module 3 of That's English. Goodbye. Goodbye.